Welcome back to Soapography. In the late 1970s, Dorian Lord blew into Landview and became one of One Life to Live's most formidable females. When people sometimes ask me, what do you love best about playing Dorian? There are a lot of things, but I'd be a liar if I didn't tell you. It's the clothes. Fortunately for Robin Strasser, costume designer Susan Gammy enjoys playing dress-up with Dorian. Susan is so talented a designer. Can I tell you a secret? I'm only five foot four. You can't tell that on camera, can you? <laughs> See, I'm outing myself. I'm not a tall woman. I like big hair. I like big shoulder pads. This is all good. Makes your hips look smaller. Susan just makes that all part of Dorian's flirtatiousness. And I try to do my part because I, I love that part of this character. Her ego is expressed through that flash and the, the, the dazzle that she wants to put into her daily appearance. But Dorian is more than just a dress-up doll. In 1982, Robin won the Daytime Emmy for Best Lead Actress. I went running up there. I'm still not sure what I said. I didn't expect to win, and it was a great thrill. There are photographs of me still. I, I look like I'm in this surreal space. And Tony Geary, he won that year as Best Actor. And we're clutching our Emmys. And we both look so deliriously happy and gorgeously young. So yeah, that was a kick. Robin's an actress who likes to stretch her wings. She took time off from One Life to Live in 1987 and again in 2000 to play other parts. You know, I've walked away from some jobs <laughs> people would kill to have and i got to do a lot of guest star roles on sitcoms on nighttime series and also wonderful movies of the week robin even did some time on another daytime soap and she learned that the passions town of harmony was a long way from landview when i did a, a show called passions at one point I said, oh my goodness, I get to dress up as a witch in these gorgeous costumes with fabulous wigs, and I get a paycheck? It's like somebody's paying me to be a kid at Halloween. Yeah, that's fun. In 2003, after fans insisted that Dorian return, Robin made her triumphant comeback to One Life to Live. I owe the fans everything. They have gone and they have fought. They have relentlessly written letters. They were just there for me. Now, Robin is enjoying her role as one of daytime's divas as much as she ever did. Thank you. Yes, I am a diva. And a diva, if you look at the Latin root of the word, is about being close to the divine, not about excluding other people and energy from what it is that makes you shine, okay? And this hardworking daytime veteran enjoys passing her experience onto the younger actors who are following her. I love working with the younger actors. I mean, really love it. This is so thrilling. Their energy and their process is a great gift to me. And if there's something that I'm giving that helps support their growth process, then I think that's a real privilege, and I really love it. Here we go, guys. Quiet, please. Robin is all about helping others. In 2005, she was inspired to create a fundraising CD to benefit the people affected by Hurricane Katrina. This is a horrible thing that has happened to these people, and it's also a rare opportunity for me to act on this desire to help in some really meaningful way. The CD was released in 2006 and continues to generate money for hurricane relief efforts. The good part is it has no shelf life. The money is going to be needed in the affected areas for years and years. When all is said and done, the bitch of daytime is a nice lady after all. And she's got a great outlook on life. I will sometimes do this game. If you were hit by a truck, <laughs> you're dead. What would you like people to remember you for? And sure, I've had a very, very blessed career. I have two beautiful sons, but I think about this seat. And uh, I would like to be remembered for that. Oh my gosh, I'm doing a Barbara Walters. Soapography. Two stars, two stories. For more on Robin Strasser and Jesse Soper, log on to SoapNet.com.